Vietnam has been pushing United States of America to change its non-market economy classification to a market economy. The United States designates a country as a non-market economy based on several factors such as if the country's currency is convertible, if wage rates are determined by free bargaining between labor and management, if joint ventures or other foreign investments are allowed, whether the means of production are owned by the state, and if the state controls the allocation of resources and prices and output decisions as well as factors such as human rights are also considered. The non-market economy label allows the United States to impose anti-dumping duties on goods imported from the designated countries. In international trade, dumping is when a country's export prices are considered to be intentionally set below domestic prices thereby inflicting harm to industries in the importing country. Anti-dumping duties essentially compensate for the difference between the imported goods' export prices and their normal value. The level of anti-dumping duties is determined by relying on a third country, for example, Bangladesh, which is a market economy. The United States assesses the value of a product to be imported from a non-market economy like Vietnam based on what it is worth in Bangladesh and then assumes that this is the supposed production cost to a Vietnamese company. The Vietnamese company's own data about the costs are then not considered. The change in status will also help Vietnam get rid of the anti-dumping duties making its products more competitive in the United States market. For more informative videos like this, follow Exact IAS.